Hello fellow traders, it's Rafał Zuchowicz and welcome to my channel. In today's video we will be talking about the dead end of the market. We will have a look as well at one currency pair that looks very promising for the upcoming week. So stay tuned, that will be a good lesson, I believe. Let's have a look at the screen. What do I have here for you? As you can see, there is a US dollar to Turkish lira charts, a weekly charts. And I already wrote some numbers for you. As we all know, the mystical numbers of Ichimoku are 9 and 26. And everything else is based on these two numbers. So let's have a look. What else can we calculate and what are the other mystical important numbers of Ichimoku based just on the stone. So as we know, every time we add the numbers, we need to calculate the one in the middle twice or calculate it in a one way, one uh, like impulse up and then impulse down. So for example, if I, if I have an impulse here, let's say it's 17, and then this impulse here is 17. This will not give me 34 because the top candle was counted twice. So this is the idea. And we always uh, have times three because the core of the Ichimoku waves is the N wave. So up, down and up. In this way, three times 26 that wouldn't give us 78 but would give us minus 2 because we're calculating the top candle and the bottom candle twice so we need to um, take it off this number 2 and in that case we get 76 later on we do the same with 76 and then we get 2 to 6 doing the same with 2 to 6 we get 676 and this according to teachings of Goichi Hosoda is the end of the market. That's where the market uh, finishes. And let's have a look if by any chance there is any correlation with this number and what's happening currently on our beloved Turkish Lira to American dollar. To do that we need to take our Mm. Fibonacci time tool which is uh, changed because I'm on the trading view this time for uh, one reason and I want to show you um, how this Fibonacci tool would work so let's put as one of our numbers 676 uh, six. yeah the end of the market we'll mark it uh, yellow so it's different than the others and hit OK. And instead of counting into the future, we will count backwards. So we will see what was happening on the market 676 weeks ago. OK, in this case, so let's run a quick calculation and see how many years that is. So I'm just having my calculator here and um, six. 76 divided by 52 that gives us 13 years 13 times 2 is 26 by the way okay let's have a look what was happening 13 years ago if we go all the way back all the way back all the way back all the way back even further even further we will get to the beginning of this beautiful market and we can see that 676 from the current higher price is just two or three candles before the bottom before the beginning of all the movement the market never came back to this point when it started growing we can see that the Turkish lira at this point it was um, you would pay one lira uh, dot 15 for one dollar so nearly one to one 
surprise surprise that was uh, back in 2008 you remember the crisis from 2008 or 2009 or were you too young to remember that and then uh, all this up movement starts so we can see that then it's Turkish Lira is two three four Liras for one uh, dollar so it's very expensive and we came all the way up to 870 something so eight times more eight times more so as you can see the magical number of uh, Ichimoku is telling us that uh, we need to be careful this might be the dead end this might be the end of this market it's six seven six and um, i agree with this magical mystical number and i believe uh, there might be something uh, bigger happening right now right here let's have a look what happened on the weekly uh, last week we spoke as well about this Turkish Lira last uh, last time I made the video I will leave it uh, above here you can ha have a look about the screenshots of one of my students who is using the positive swap on Turkish Lira and uh, how she's making money based on that we spoke about it and I told you that I think there is something happening and I did have a closer look into this market and these are my discoveries so what happened let's have a look at uh, the tenkan we closed below the tenkan and now last week we opened and closed below the tenkan so we have a full open and closed black candle under the tenkan so that means that uh, tenkan was acting as a support but it's not longer so the short-term investors on weekly charts uh, capitulated so uh, sort to say and now we might be falling down this is uh, kijun as we can see up today these are my drawings so this is kijun for next week the kijun will go all the way up on monday when you wake up on monday kijun will be at this point and then it will continue um, for another few weeks flat so that will be our supports acting as well as a magnet for this price so this price especially after coming to Kijun before bouncing off demolishing Kijun now it would be nice to see the retest so this is quite a big distance because we we can see that there is uh, i don't know if i can calculate it with these tools but uh, it's quite uh, quite a distance so from 8.45 is up to eight so half a uh, half a lira drop so uh, on the uh, forex markets that would be quite a nice candle okay going to um, that would be the um, senko span one as well uh, next week so this is the prediction for senko span i mean prediction calculation basically this will be uh, and the tenkan um, will be a little bit lower than it is now so this is our view for the next week on the weekly if we go to daily charts we can see that uh, as i explained before chico got already underneath the price uh, very nicely we got underneath at this point uh, we dropped below i believe with the candles here and uh, no, that was the previous one so here with the small candles we dropped below and uh, then there was a nice retest you can see how precise chico is precise retest of the of the price as well as we created sort of a left shoulder head and a right shoulder there is a base and now uh, our fall as you can see you remember there was a little bit below eight um, eight liras for the price and it's correlating very nicely with uh, our ma 200 from the daily so 
I don't need to say anymore. Uh, and going to, so basically, yes, bounce of the price and we should be price, uh, we should see the price uh, falling. If we go to four hours charts, we can see that uh, I made some drawings already for you, so we don't waste time for all of that. We have an ABC. Uh, and I marked 26, 70 and 42. Uh, this is actually 25 and 18. But since we have in Ichimoku 26 and 17, that looks much prettier. So I, I put it um, 26 and 17. So you've, you have an idea what I meant by the significance of these numbers. So we have a nice impulse, 26, 17, bouncing of the cloud, bouncing, bouncing of a swell, our MA200. As you can see, it's a very good indicator on the markets. Uh, and uh, we are going down. So we already got out of the clouds. Um, we got below Tenkan and now we are retesting uh, Kijun and retesting top of the candles from 26 days ago. So in my opinion, there is a very high possibility taking all of this information together that this dead end uh, on the market might continue and we will see the beautiful fall these are our targets, uh, I mean, Hosoda's targets, NT, N, V, and E. These are some price targets, uh, sorry, time targets here, T1, T2, T3. There's a few more, but uh, I just marked for the sake of this video, these three. So, I hope you agree with me that uh, something is going on on this market and it's worth uh, watching next week. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor. This is just for the entertainment and for the educational purposes. So I'm not advising you to take that uh, beautiful opportunity to make money on the falling market. I'm just saying that uh, I will and I'm making this video uh, just for fun to entertain you, my YouTube uh, subscribers. By the way, if you are not a subscriber and you are watching this video and you are enjoying this video, please subscribe to my channel. If you really like this video, give it a thumb up as well and hit this little bell so you will be notified every time I make this awesome analysis for you. So you don't miss the opportunity to watch live what's going on in the market. Because if you look at this video in two weeks time, might be too late. Okay, uh, this is it about the Turkish Lira and uh, United States of America dollar. Uh, have a good weekend guys and until the next time. Take care, bye.